Carson, you came into this new year just wanting to be a bit more mindful or intentional. Our first live guest of the morning is here to help us out with that. The certified meditation instructor has a few small ways that you can incorporate mindfulness into your everyday life. So joining us now is Nicole Walters, owner of Greensboro's Ahava Collective. Good morning and happy new year, Nicole. It's the first time we've seen you. Yes, good morning. It's so good to be back. Hope everybody's doing well. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, we're about two weeks in, which yes. is the time that maybe some people are wavering on New <laughs> Year's resolutions. So why do you refer to these goals as intentions Ooh. versus resolutions? Well, that's a great question. Um, and you're absolutely right. This is kind of the time of year where people can really start to get down on their self. And um, you know, think, well, I've already not, you know, committed to my intention, so I might as well just give up. And it's really important to remember that this is just one day at a time. Um, and if I could just speak briefly about, you know, today being Martin Luther King Day, and I love hearing all the commentary, and I know my daughter's school is doing a huge day of service. And I also think it's really important to point out that intention is doing something on purpose. And it means showing up in the present moment. And I think bringing more peace and compassion and inclusivity and diversity into our world, it starts with our intentions. It starts with the way that we're thinking about ourselves and about others and how we're choosing to show up in the spaces that we belong to. Nicole, thank you for t saying that. You Ooh. said that beautifully. Yeah. We appreciate that too, especially today. Mm -hmm. And I think some people don't really um, maybe understand what mindfulness is. And that's why we love having you on our show because it's kind of, sometimes it's hard to wrap your mind literally yeah. <laughs> around what that means when you try to work on being intentional, that in a sense is mindfulness on its own, right? Yes, that's correct. And we're actually in the middle of doing uh, meditation and mindfulness series at the studio that I'm teaching on Wednesday nights. And that, that question comes up a lot. What's the difference in meditation and mindfulness? And meditation is a practice. It's where we're sitting and we're concentrating on breath and maybe we're doing different guided meditations. But mindfulness is a way in which we're existing in the space that we're taking up. So um, we can be more mindful with even the simplest of tasks. I think I'd given um, an example of just washing the dishes seems like it's something that it's so easy for us to go on autopilot. Um, mindfulness is being aware of what we're doing while we're doing it. Okay, so you have those ideas for mm -hmm. incorporating it into your daily life, but you know, how can we evolve past those simple practices once you kind of get a grasp of that? What do you do after that? So the more that we practice bringing that intention and mindfulness into the simplest things, it's almost like the way I describe it to people is, you know, football players don't go to the Super Bowl after one practice, right? Like they're preparing for that. And what happens is, you know, over a period of time as we've practiced, you're going to start noticing how that mindfulness, that, you know, um, intentional being is going to start to show up in larger parts of our lives. And for instance, you know, in a situation where we may, you know, ignite that fight, flight, freeze, we may notice that we are more neutral and we're able to show up and respond rather than reacting to what's happening around us. And it's really becomes evident um, for me early on in my practice, it became evident in how I was in relation to other people, how I could listen to people more because I was focusing on being present for what they were telling me, as opposed to thinking about what I wanted to say mm -hmm. or something else that was going on during the day, because we can get really lost in thought. So mindfulness just helps us kind of let those thoughts have an exit and be present in the here and now. I love that too, in the sense of it helping your relationships, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and being a listening ear and supporting each other. Thank you, Nicole, for joining us this morning as always. And for folks at home, if you enjoy our Monday meditation segments, be sure to check out Ahava Collective in Greensboro. And you can always learn more by visiting the website on your screen and following along on Instagram.